Welcome to YouTube Excel Finance Trick number 15. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Finance Tricks 1 to 17. Hey, trick number 15, you're not going to believe this. We're going to look at the XNPV function. We're on the sheet tab PV, NPV, and XNPV. We've already looked at the present value function and the net present value function for discounted cash flow analysis. If you scroll up what we did in our last couple of videos, we are valuing an asset that has cash flows. And we saw how to use the present value function here when we had an annuity, which meant the cash flows were exactly the same and the time interval was the same between each cash flow. Then we ran into a situation where the cash flows were different Right? The time intervals are still the same, but the cash flows were different, not all the same. So we saw how to use the NPV function. Now we have our third amazing Excel function for discounted cash flow analysis. The time between each cash flow is different, and the cash flows are different. Now there's an amazing function that makes it super easy, XNPV. Now if you didn't know how to use this, you would just do present value. So here I have a cash flow in time 0, 1, 1, 2007, then a cash flow one year later, and then a cash flow in uh, a couple years later, two years later, and then one year, one year, one year. So the times are not the same between all the cash flows. Then we have different cash flows. Well, you would have to use the uh, present value function. If you click in this cell right here, you can see that I've gone ahead and used the present value function for each one of these cash flows and then I just added them up. If I hit enter, F2, enter, F2, you can see I've calculated the present value for each cash flow. But that's a lot of extra formulas I don't want to have to do. And at the end I have to add them all up here. Right? So that's one way to do it. Now there's a problem. Uh, the way the XNPV, if you were to do it this way and then try the XNPV, you would see that there's a couple cents difference. So I'm going to click in this cell and say if F2. And the way the XNPV function calculates is it actually takes uh, the difference between dates and divides it by 365, therefore getting sometimes a fraction of a year. Not only that, but this formula right here ignores leap year. For example, if I click down here, I've typed 1-1-2009. And here it says 1, 1, 2008. So in this formula, I've subtracted the, this date from this date. And we could see that for 2008, it's a leap year, 366 days. So there's a, a slight penny, a few pennies difference between how you would do it with a present value and how you do it with XNPV. But the XNPV is so amazing, it will actually, notice here our dates are separated by years. You forget it. You could have days or months or whatever, and the XNPV function would work. So let's try it. I'm going to click in cell G37 and see how the XNPV function equals XNPV. Now look at this. All it needs is the rate, the discount rate. The values are cash flows and our dates. How easy is that? This is going to be so much easier than all the formulas we did here and here. I'm going to get my rate, our discount rate, comma. It jumps to the next uh, argument. And values, I got my cash flows, comma. And now it wants dates. It wants dates, so I'm going to highlight the dates. And don't forget, this function is amazing. These days don't have to be separated by a year. They could be any day. Some of the time gaps could be a year. Other ones could be days or months. And it would still work by putting the dates. Close parentheses, control, enter. That is amazing. Now, if you had been doing present value uh, this way, which is very common, people use the present value function, as you could see up here, for differing uh, cash flow amounts and timing periods. But if you'd done this and you got 110, 21, and then you did this one, you're like, oh man, what is going on? You could simply uh, hit F2 and go and look in the help. I'm going to click on this F of X. And then right here, this amazing little feature, help on this function. And when you get uh, formulas, 
uh, functions that have complicated formulas, usually they'll list how they calculate it down in help. And there it is. There's that 365, which means on leap year, it's not looking at 366. So it's going to divide by uh, something different. Click OK. And that's how, when I use this for the first time, I then looked at that formula and then created a um, a com more complicated math-oriented present value, but I used that 365 as the denominator to verify that I could do it with my math and that the XNPV function, I believed it worked, because then I went and uh, simulated it in a different way. All right, we'll see you next Excel Finance trick.